Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate, or I go by Always More Sims here on YouTube. And today we are returning back to The Sims 3 to continue playing my FIG challenge, which stands for For Every Generation There Is a Genre. Uh, and yeah, this is the fifth generation, which is comedy. So, oh, I put my notebook in here bad. Now my pages are bent. Okay, anyways. So, medical stuff was too serious. Although healing sick people was great and all, sometimes it just wasn't humorous enough for your tastes. You wanted there to be laughs involved. So, my Sims requirements were to have a good sense of humor trait, have as many kids as we want, marriage is an option, but we cannot marry someone with no sense of humor. So, to catch us up, um, our sim up here is Wade, uh, Wade TBR, uh, TBR is spelled out, but it is a reference to a TBR list, a to be read, um, I personally have one that will never end, and never get shorter, but always get longer, um, and Wade is named after the main character, or, yeah, I'd consider him to be the main character, um, of Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Now, quick side rant. If you did not watch the previous generation, I don't really like the Ready Player One books. And all of the generations are based off of favorite books of mine. Um, but I don't really like Ready Player One, the book. Um, I disliked Ready Player Two so much that I've like wiped it from my memory and can't remember almost anything about it. However, Ready Player One, the movie, one of my all-time favorite things. I love 80s references. I love like um, 80s movies, 80, 80s shows. I like a lot of 80s music. I really like the 80s. So like the book was okay. But the movie is a masterpiece. It is so cool. Every time I watch it, I find new references. Absolutely love it. So because it's one of my favorite movies, I'm like, well, we'll go ahead and use it as a book. Because again, I didn't mind the first book, but about two thirds of the way through, Wade, the main character here, goes through this like huge depression stage, gets very depressed. Um, and the book just slows to like a crawl and it gets really boring and I lost like all interest during this like depressed mopey stage um, that by the time the book actually picked back up for the ending I had basically lost all interest so anyways Wade here has a good sense of humor he's brave a genius bookworm and a computer whiz he likes aqua pancakes geek rock he's a Pisces and has just aged up into a young adult. Now, Wade is an only child and um, his dad and his mom um, are not to get, like, they're, they're a, uh, I think they're just girlfriend, boyfriend. I don't think, yeah, they're not engaged. Um, his father is Reed, based off of Spencer Reed. <laughs> Um, which I understand is not a book character. However, the last generation was medical journals. And seeing as how I don't, you know, read those regularly, I was like, well, uh, Dr. Spencer Reed is a doctor. So we'll make an exception. Um, Reed met Olivia on the dating website. And together they had Wade. However... Reed, like, just didn't really want to live with Olivia. And, like, she did while she was pregnant. And until Wade was, I want to say, a child. And then she moved back out. And I kind of went along the storyline that she, you know, she and Reed are faithful to each other. They're still in a relationship. However, she kind of missed her freedom. She liked being able to go out and hang out with her friends. And... Reed had always wanted a kid and it was like he was okay with you know being the one to like raise the kid basically Olivia was not around much for Wade's childhood um but still his mom just not very close 
They actually both live in town. I brought them with us. We moved to the world of Barnacle Bay. So like the ships over here. Um, this is what they always use to kind of showcase Barnacle Bay. I did also just open the game, so bear with me. There's normally quite a bit of lag at the very beginning. I forgot this was a restaurant. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the ship. I forgot how small of a world it is. Like, actually, okay, it's, I shouldn't say small, but like, I forgot that there weren't. Like, it's it's no, it's small. Um, I completely forgot about that. I think I've played in Barnacle Bay before, but I don't remember it like at all. So I placed Wade's house. Oh, I just realized that it's, is there like a, there's kind of a hill here. Wade's house is um, obstructing the like main roads view of the ocean. He's just chilling right here, smack dab in the middle of this little plot. Um, I did a speed build of this house. I did make this house. I will try to remember to link it in the description. Um, I sold that for my thumbnail. Um, right up the road, right here, is uh, Reed's house. Now, I downloaded this house originally for Reed to move into right off the bat instead of the townhouse that we ended up moving into. Um, and it's like itty bitty, but I feel like that's kind of what Reed wants. Reed has always had rather small houses and now that it's just him I think he's okay living in this like itty bitty little house um and then this is where Olivia lives so she lives right across the street again they're committed to each other they're in a relationship they just aren't engaged or married um let's see we also I think I originally wasn't going to bring H along um you technically can't travel with pets, which is how I managed to keep the family tree intact. Um, but I ended up saving H to the bin and then I just placed her back down. Um, but I'm pretty sure I originally was like not going to bring her with us, that I was just going to kind of leave H back in. Um, oh, where were we living? Was it? Evansdale? It was either, it's, I think it started with an E. It was either Evansdale County or like Elmira City. It was one or the other, I think. Because we lived in Hidden Springs before that. But I ended up bringing H anyways. Um, that is her name, by the way. She was named after a Ready Player One character. Let's see, what else was I going to say? Yeah, I was going to say something else. And then I forgot. Um, if you want to take a quick glance back through the family tree. So it started with Kida. Um, Kida is like kids, but with an A instead of an S. So her generation was based off of children's novels. So she was childish. Um, all my Sims are, they have the bookworm trait. All of my heirs have the bookworm trait. Um, and then Kida was married to, oh, what's your dad's name? Pedro. That's right, Pedro. Um, was married to Pedro. And then together they had two kids. They had Harry. Yes, he's named after Harry Potter. Um, and Diana, who's named after Princess Diana of Wales. So Harry, because I am a firm believer that Harry should have ended up with Hermione and not, you know, Ron and Hermione, Ginny and Harry. I personally don't think, anyways... So I, I was like, well, this is my story. I get to tell it how I want. So we married Hermione instead of Ron. Or not not Ron, Ginny. Um, they have five kids themselves. They have James, Albus, Rose, Hugo, and Lily. Now, these are all Harry and Hermione's kids from the books. Uh, at, like the very end. So James, James, Albus, and... Lily were all Harry's kids, and then Rose and Hugo were Hermione's kids. James married someone named Annie, had a kid named Tom for Tom Riddle. Albus married someone named Tanisha and had a daughter named Minerva for Professor McGonagall. Rose had four kids, married someone named Sean, and had Molly for Molly Weasley. 
Arthur for Arthur Weasley, Charlie for Charlie Weasley, and then Lavender for the one girlfriend. Um, these three were all with one person, and then she remarried to Lavender's father. Hugo married Tanya and had Ron and Ginny. <laughs> And then Lily married Wilbur and had Percy, Fred, and George. All Weasleys. Um, And then... um, Oh, that's right. So, Kida passed relatively early. Um, Pedro ended up remarrying to somebody and had a daughter. Um... And her name was Dora. Because if Harry had been born a boy, he would have been named Dora after Dora the Explorer. (laughs) And then it would have been Dora and Diana. So then we move on to Diana, who was our heir for the second generation, which was based off of biographies. Diana was married twice to follow Princess Diana. Well, I guess Princess Diana was not married twice. But she was with her first husband... Um, and together had William and Henry. I named him Henry because that is technically Prince Harry's name, but she already, like, we already had a Harry, so I went with Henry, with Prince Harry's, like, technical first name. William, um, was purposely with Diana's first husband, I believe it was Dennis? Denny. Um, however, Denny like was kind of a he was a bum okay um diana did everything diana had a good job diana was making good money and denny was just kind of mooching off of her and then in the background denny was having an affair um diana ended up woohooing with um both denny and who was later her um second husband warren i had them risky i had her risky woohoo with both and had Henry. Henry ended up being Denny's as well. Um, I was really hoping he wasn't, but he was. And then Denny had two kids with his lover, blanking on her name, Pauline. Naturally, they're named Charles and Camilla. <laughs> um, so William, naturally, married Kate, had George, Charlotte, and Louis. Again, naturally. Henry married Megan and had Archie and Lilibet. I think that's how you say that. Could be wrong. And then uh, Diana left Denny, married Warren, who is Kelsey's father. And then Kelsey (laughs) married a man named Robert, had four kids. She had, and these, okay, this generation is based off of the Tiger's Curse series. One of my all-time, hands-down favorite like, the first book, one of my all-time favorites. It makes me, like, green with envy every time I read it because I want somebody to love me how Ren loves Kelsey, okay? I want it so bad. Um, because we find all of our partners, well, except for Warren. Warren was an exception. I placed Warren. But we found Denny. We found Pedro. We found um, Robert, Kelsey's husband. We found them all through a dating website. Or at least, like, in the world. I did not place them. I did not make them. And that is how Wade will find his spouse. So... Robert's name was originally Carl. Robert looked a lot like, like to me, I wanted him to have an R name because the kids are all R or K names. So I was like, oh, well, two of them will be named after, like, we'll have the same first initial as their dad. Two will have the same first initial as their mom. So I need an R name. And to me, he looked a lot like Robert Downey Jr. (laughs) So I renamed him from Carl to Robert. Again, together they had four kids. All the kids, well, the first three are all named after Tiger's Curse characters. So their first was Kadam, who married a man named Lokesh, and together they adopted a, a girl named Nalima. These are, and Tiger's Curse is Indian, so just kind of a bit of an explanation. Ren married someone named Haley because in the book, Kelsey, the main character, who ended up being, um, again, Kelsey's here. Kelsey, her last name was Hayes. So, because I couldn't have Ren marry his mom, because that's bad on and weird on so many levels, I named her Haley after Kelsey Hayes. Um, and together they had four kids, Anik, Allegan, and these two are twins, or actually, I'm sorry, Allahan. And then these two are twins, Durga and Deshin. <laughs> and then there's Kashan, who married Anamika. 
and then have Raharam, Sohan, and Yesubai. And then we have Reed. <laughs> Doesn't fit it at all. Reed and Olivia, and together they have Wade. Totally sticks out. Does not match his brothers. That brings us up to date. This, this, the first video of any generation, any challenge is always going to be long-winded and boring. I do apologize. Um, I do want to say that's all, though. I'll probably, you know, remember here and I'm like, oh, wait, this. Um, why did we just get two simoleons? Oh, because I sold, I sold the pose player thing twice. That's why. Anyways, um, we need a job. So I did give myself like some of my own rules i want him to max the nerd group um like university group there's the nerds the rebels and the jocks i want him to max the nerd group um we're going to join the politician career uh we need to max social networking logic and i would like to also max bot building i don't actually want a bot but i haven't done anything with bot building in years since like before my channel. So I thought it would be kind of fun to maybe go back to bot building. Um, and then we're gonna have five kids. So. Um, I feel like this challenge and my I'm a lover challenge tend to parallel a lot because like we, our, um, my last generation of this challenge was basically a single dad raising one child. And that's what ended up happening in my I'm a lover challenge. We had a single dad raising one child. And now we have a sim who's going to have like five kids and join the politician career. And hey, guess what Bloom's doing in my I'm a lover challenge? She's going to join the politician career and also have five kids. Like they just tend to mirror each other. I always, I think it's kind of funny. I am kind of ready for them to differ because I do feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over. Anyways, let's find a job. Um, he does have the blog artist lifetime wish, so there is that. Um, politi nope. Okay, never mind. We'll go join that in a minute. For now, I want to create a dating profile. Yep, that works. Um, let's browse some profiles. Ooh. Okay, I don't want adults um okay i'm thinking we'll send a message to flora fiona i might do louisa and like mia maybe patty i'm looking at their jaws like i feel like i am picky okay this is gonna be my like she's gonna give me my air <laughs> i'm gonna um it's just that yeah they're like i don't know and like the hair the hairs are not helping um I don't want to marry an adult, though, and- oh, they have to have good sense of- do they have to? No, I just can't marry somebody who has no sense of humor. So Flora is a bookworm, great kisser, green thumb, handy, and lucky, which I feel like actually would go very well with Wade. Um, okay. Fiona is artistic, clumsy, good, loves the outdoors, and a virtuoso. No. Oh, she's guarding her food bowl. Ah. H does that and tries. And let's do Mia. And if and she's good, candy, uh, klepto, schmoozer, and, and a slob. Um, and if those three don't work out, then we'll come back. I don't want you guarding things because that makes you aggressive. Dog. She loves to guard her food bowl. And like if they're loyal, then it like encourages loyal. But if they're not, then it encourages destructive or not destructive, aggressive. Okay. Where's there's City Hall? Right over the street. Right across the street. Why, register as retired. You haven't done anything to warrant you being retired. He also does have his car from the last generation. And we brought the Vespa. I normally have, like, the, the Vespa normally gets passed along. Who's this? Ni Nina Caliente is in Barnacle Bay. Oh, her lipstick. Why is it so pink? <laughs> I'm not... Ooh, hey, there was... Was that the, the one girl? Flor Flora? Fiona. One of them. 
It is nice that we're so close to, like, the town. Because I can see people. Can't do paparazzi. Pearl Inkbeard. I get the feeling she's a married townie. Laurel Lie. <laughs> yeah, it's names like those. And I'm like, townie, and I'm pretty sure she's an adult. Based off the, like, lines around her... Like, by your nose. Okay. Can you come home? We cycle this. Um, use the bathroom. Make some autumn salad. And who is this you want to text? Eleanor Goldbeard. Is that your boss? Oh, he has, like, no relationship. I thought he had some relationship with his dad. Okay, all I'm hearing is all the doors opening and closing because H is running around. Hey, girl. Surely there's somewhere better you can do that. Like, look at all this space outside, and you're running around up here. Like, I think we could be making better choices. <laughs> okay. Um, charisma. That's another skill we need to work on. Let's go ahead and eat. Um. Let's order pizza. You know what? We can order a pizza. We're not going to eat it now, but we can order a pizza. Okay, why don't you run around? Oh, it's not letting you. Why are you freaking out? Girl, there's no full moon. I have that turned off. It's not a thing. Um, okay, no. Um, can you go... Do I have a charisma? I don't have a charisma. I could have sworn I at least have like a logic book or something. I guess not. Okay, let's work on maybe your social networking skill. Let's just do this for a while. Um, I also cannot forget that I have to manually age up sims in this save. They will not age up by themselves. It is one of the most irritating things ever. And I forget to age up sims all of the time. Um, so Reed was like two days away from becoming an elder. Um, I had to age Olivia up to be closer to his age. Um, so sh she will also need to be aged up. Who are you? Aish and also an ink beard. Like, I guess it's really not a problem to be with townies, but I'm still, I don't know, I'm still kind of hesitant. And there's this person over here in the bushes. Odessa Cross. <laughs> Okay, go get the pizza, please. And we've just learned the social networking skill. Perfect. What kind of pizza did you order? Pizza. Dude, you're supposed to be taking the pizza. Go get your pizza before he leaves. Or she? Roni Pepper. I love that. Okay. Yeah, he leaves. Okay. H freaked out again, apparently. Looks like a, maybe a supreme? I don't know. But I am going to send him to bed. And I'm also going to end this part here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I do have my gaming channel and my Twitter both linked down in the description below. If you'd like to check either of those things out, I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you, Moose. Bye-bye.